Hello, my angels. So the Hermes Rouge H lipstick arrived, but I thought we would do like a little, I don't do little get ready's with me, but it's not really a get ready. But I wanted to, to try it on a flat surface because right now you see like I have different tones on my face. So, so first I'm going to put on my eyeliner. This is Genie. I got this from a QVC box. Genie Super Glide in uh, black. And um, I bought it. <laughs> I buy everything. I'm not sponsored by anybody. I have very few collabs. And then this is Mally. I also bought this. Face Defender SPF 15 sunscreen um, in a color tan. Other side. It feels like the nineties girls were like they used a foundation that was not their color. It's so interesting because I put this on yesterday and it looked good, but I put it directly on my skin, not on the brush. I think this brush actually has another color on it. I should wash it. That's a little bit darker and it keeps blending in with whatever I put on it. But this is what I'm doing right now. Not changing my mind. The camera's rolling. <laughs> this brush is just some cheap brush I got. Style Master. This is my, I don't know where I got this from. It was like one of those ones that are like eight, eight or five dollars for like ten or fourteen brushes, and only like four of the brushes are any good, kind of thing. Um, so now we're gonna open up the box. This color is gonna match perfectly in by June or July, when um. I mean, I'm probably not gonna publish this till June or July. Right now, it's May, just so you guys know. Um when my skin is actually darker naturally because of the sun so it came in a white bag like this i just took it out and here we're gonna open it huh it's the hermes box but there's no before it had it had like a bunch of this tissue paper so that i guess it didn't roll around there's the envelope with this, and I guess this, the lipstick was supposed to be in here, I'm guessing. Um, and then in the envelope is just my invoice. This ended up being $74 plus tax, it's eighty fifty seven because I'm in New York. This is the Rouge H. I obviously can't return it because I'm going to try it on. It comes in a box like this. What is that number 85 matte? I'm really into the matte colors now. In the bottom. And then I'm so used to these boxes already. It comes in a box like this, which is like if it's your first time, you're like, oh my god, an Amaz box! And then you slide this out. And then in here is a my hands aren't dirty, right? is like this little linen thing that sometimes people will keep in their bag, sometimes they keep it in the box. Just push it out like that. This comes out and it's this one. I really, this is not my favorite tube. I have two of these already and I have two of the white and gold ones. So I'm just gonna be buying refills going forward. Um, if you guys didn't see my video on the Rose Indian, it's magnetic. If you guys didn't see my video on the Rose Indian, I bought the refill. It's beautiful. I really like that color. Um, so you can see that one. So this is what it looks like. See, it's smashed. Are they all smashed? Is it just me? What is wrong with Hermes that all their lipsticks are smashed? Like, what the fuck? I can't even, like, 
this is the, what is wrong with them? You're a prestigious brand, right? You charge so much money for everything. And then every lipstick you get is smacked. Is this going to fall out? No, this one didn't fall out at least. The other one fell out. That was annoying. Um, all right. It does have like a floral smell to it. It's very nice. Very light floral. So I didn't like the way the bottom went on, but the top went on very well. Mm, it's not really my color profile. Mm. It smells really good, but it's nice. What is cream blush anyway, if not just rouge that is creamy? I used to never buy blush because I used to just do that. I'm like, why am I going to buy blush for? Mm. It's definitely not a color that I normally wear, which is why I wanted to put on makeup with it. I think I might have looked better with a matte instead of putting the blush on because I don't think the blush was very flattering. This is not a color I'm going to pull out often or I'm going to reach for all the time. This is more for me a fall color or a statement color where you want people to be like, who is that? It is a beautiful red, burgundy kind of color. It is very powerful, which is why I bought it. I think it's like one of the number one bestsellers on uh, Hermes for colors. Mm. I like the fact that it's pigmented. You only need one swipe and you see it. You know, you, did, you saw I had to blend it because it was weird on the bottom. But when you wear it, it actually is a beautiful, powerful color. This is more of like, I feel like an executive power color, personal assistant power color, where you're standing next to your exec and you're like, Like that kind of thing. It's not even here. That was the way I put it on. Mm. I like it. I, and you know, I don't normally go towards these dark colors, but it, one, it is a powerful color. It is nice. It is matte. If it was shiny, I don't think I would like it. One thing I have to say, hands down, Hermes, 150%. They have their formulation down. It's nice on the lips. It feels like you're wearing a satin. But when you press your lips together, it's like a mat. It does not stick together at all. It's just like two pieces of paper going against each other. But on the lips, it feels like you're wearing a satin. I don't know how they did it, but they did it. So I got to give them props for that. Like, yes, the lipstick is expensive. It always, like two, three, three out of four lipsticks came damaged there's something wrong either the way that they're shipping it or the fact that they're not closing it all the way I don't know what's going on but the first one I bought I bought on eBay and it was the lipstick just fell out of the case the lipstick was intact you know but it just fell out of the case so I returned it because I'm like no I can't wear a lipstick that might be falling out of the case all the time um so then he sent me a reef uh a, whatever uh, the other one and I think that one was fine then I bought the Rose Indie and that one was smashed, but I'm like, whatever, I'm just going to use it because I bought it. <coughs> Sorry. It's coming from Hermes. Either the Rose. Uh, yeah, I think that's what happened. And then this one, you saw, I just opened it and it smashed again. And I'm like, you know, you guys, it kind of takes away from the entire experience. And it's not something you would expect from a luxury brand, which is really starting to get on my nerves, to be quite frank with you. But it looks good. It feels great great. I mean, it feels great. Let's get closer. I think if I put another coat on, it might look a little better or darker. I don't know. That's just one coat. Let's try another coat. I don't really want to try another coat because <laughs> I'm not a big fan of like the dark lipsticks kind of thing. But let's see. It looks brown, but it goes on red. See, it got darker. See that? The one started from the bottom. Now we're here. Hmm. See how dark it got? So it changes when you do a second coat. It becomes more of a burgundy than a red. I'm not a fan of that. Some people might be. So you might look look at this and be like, I love it. It's more To me, it looks more of like a dried blood red kind of thing. Now I feel like it's a little bit more gothic. I don't like that. I like the way it looked before, 
with one coat. Oh, this is my Primerica shirt. When we go to conferences, I just wear it as a pajama now. I have to go renew my license. Uh, and then I'm studying for my Series 6 and 63, which I want to take this summer or fall. And then I can be a financial advisor, and then I can start learning and talking about things and teaching, etc., etc. So, cross your fingers. It is beautiful. I mean, even with the dark color, and I don't wear dark colors, it's lovely. You can see how it's going to look good with a lot of things. I can't say anything bad about this. So I didn't like the 46 or the 64, which was the cask. I was actually thinking of buying another one because it was so cheap. It was $50 versus the 75 and it came with a tube. And I was like, that's just a great gift period. So I, bought, I was thinking of buying it as a gift or maybe even keeping it for myself because I gave one, that one to my mom. She loved it. She was like, I love it. You know, she was happy. She was happy. I love it, Merita. I love it. <laughs> These are the little moments you live for, right? When you have a mom and you're able to give her the joy she gave you when you were a kid, you know? So she liked it. Then I was thinking of getting another one and I was like, it did kind of look good on me, but I really didn't like it. I, there's so many other reds and now I'm getting into YSL. I'm really not trying. I just bought like 10 lipsticks on eBay. That's my mom. Happy days. Um, and then I have to go test drive a car now because I don't know if you guys know I got into a car accident. My car was totaled. Not totaled because it was totaled. I mean, they could have probably fixed it, but it would have cost more money to fix it. And there probably would have been issues in the long run because it was a 1999 Lexus RX 300. Um, it's like those crossover ones that everybody has. Every, it, it looked, even though it was a 1999, it looked current because all the cars look exactly the same now, you know? So I was like, whatever, I bought it for like $1,500 because, you know, my dad had the stroke. So I had to get like a wheel. I'm not going to talk about the lipstick anymore. So I had to get him like a wheelchair. So I wanted a car that I could put the wheelchair in so I could take him to his appointments and, you know, come have him come visit me and take him out for, to like Wendy's or whatever to get him out of the facilities that he was in. Right. So, um, as you guys know, he passed away two and a half months ago. So it's kind of like, okay, well, I guess the universe and God is saying, you know, this part of your life is over. We're going to start something new. You're walking into luxury. You know, the, the people that I'm meeting and the, the men that are approaching me and the look that I've been giving myself is far more luxurious than I have in the past where I kind of like let myself go because I was going through stuff, you know, um, and that I'm going to write about that and I'm going to blog about it and I'm going to do a podcast about it because I know I'm not the only woman that feels this way and goes through stuff like this. And a lot of women don't talk about it unless it's like, shh, don't talk about it, you know, and we have to talk about it because, you know, so this is a really good color to wear if I ever do a vlog cast <laughs> um, because it's one of those interview power colors, right? So what, but what did he say then? You know, like, it's one of those, you know, so what are your thoughts on this color? Um, I might, you know, like this is the kind of color you do like a little Marilyn Monroe cat eye and you just leave it at that. Um, or you could just do a little bit of eyeliner on top to give it some depth and then put, I mean, did I, did I shower yet? I can't remember. Did I take a shower today? I washed my face. No. Uh, well, I might not wash my face then. I just wet my hair to do the video. I have to take a shower before I go out. Let me see. I don't think I want to do a cat eye right now because the truth is I'm not in a position to see what I'm doing. Oh, see, I've, I always mess up this eye. I don't know why. It's almost like as soon as the, the pen touches my eye, my eye twitches like, what are you doing? <laughs> It does. This eye is like, do whatever you want. This one's like, why are you touching me? <laughs> Get off. <laughs> this, this eye has its own personality. I can't see what I'm doing because I need glasses to see this far from the camera. So that's why I'm, I'm hesitant to ever do my makeup on camera because I cannot see what I'm doing. 
I'm just gonna leave it like that. I know this one looks better than this one. It always does. But my eyes are different. One is up bigger. I think this one's bigger than the other one. So I always have to like do it. So then I have to like look in front of a mirror, fix it, clean it. Look in front of a mirror, fix it, clean it. But more or less, you know what I'm saying? Like if I, if I had a mirror in front of me that was 10x <laughs> and I was able to see what I'm doing, you got, you get the gist, right? With like a cat eye and Anyways, so yeah, that's what I got for you guys. This is the Tiffany bracelet from way back in the day. This is a necklace from the jewelry company that I used to work with. These are Temu earrings, believe it or not. Temu. And I did have the the nail ring from Cartier, but in um, with all the Pave diamonds on it. it it's, it's, it's a dupe. I'm not. I'm going to buy that ring at some point. At some point, if I buy myself any piece of Cartier jewelry, it's going to be the Pave diamond nail ring. I love it. It looks good with everything. I don't care for the love bracelet or the love ring. I like the triple gold ones, but I already have that. The triple where it's white, white, pink, and yellow gold. I have like a pin. I have the earrings and I have the ring, so I don't need it, but I, I do like that collection. Uh, I don't have the, oh, do I have the bracelet? I think I bought a dupe of the bracelet and, um, but I definitely want to get that ring. But yeah, that's all I got for you guys. It smells so good. It's not roses. It's definitely floral. So it smells good because, I mean, especially if you're dating someone and they get near you, they're going to smell the flowers on your lips. They're going to be like, she always smells so good. Especially if you have the Twilly. Twilly is my favorite one from Hermes. It's the only one I like so far. Um, but I have a very different palette than most people. Okay, that's what I got for you guys. Until next time. Um, I do talk a lot. I say what's on my mind. I'm very upfront and honest. I can't even try not to be. If I ever did like a mascara or makeup review, I would never cut cut a scene. I'd be like, okay, this is what it looks like. And then I would, what I would honestly do is I would put one, I have to put two to four coats on if I do mascara. And then I would put on a lash primer and then do it and show you the difference. Because the truth is, someone like me who barely has eyelashes that you can see because you're super thin and skinny and short, I need the lash primer to make it look like I have anything. So I would always do, like if I did a review, I would do it like that. If you are a company and you want me to review your product, obviously I'm going to be super honest and then babble afterwards. So, I mean, I don't know. It depends. If I got paid for it, I might keep it short. <laughs> right. No, I would have to, I think. Um... But, uh, I, you know, I just give honest reviews and if I don't like it, I don't like it, but I do always give suggestions on like how you could use it, what it looks like, what it looks like to me, um, what it smells like, what it feels like, what it tastes like. Like you guys see my reviews. Uh, other than that right now, my nails are bare. I do have to do a review cause I'm doing a collaboration with this company, Jofe, Jofe. And I think I'm going to put them on after I do the test drive. Cause I don't want anything impeding my kind of like on a vehicle that I don't know, um, that. I don't own. <laughs> um, I'm going to finance it though. I think, I think I'm just going to put like, it's, it's not expensive. It's a very inexpensive car, but I just have to read the fine print. Cause I have to make sure like it's $5,000. I think the car that I want, they have another one for 10,000 that I like. So I was going to put 2000 down and then finance the rest, but I could probably pay it off in a year, whether either, either car, um, the, the $5,000 one, I could probably pay off in like two to the, two to two or three to six months and the other one I could definitely pay off in a year and then I'll have a nice car like a decent car you know I'm not it's like a, it would be a, a crossover SUV something simple that kind of looks more sophisticated than you know my last vehicle but like newer it's not 1999 it might be like a 2008 2006 it's still not that great I think if I go 10,000 it might be like a 2010 um, 2012 maybe, you know, but you know, I'm just like looking for something to keep me going until the money comes in. And when the money comes in, then I'll get my Mercedes S550. And then when we get to a million subscribers, uh, it's probably going to be 2 million. I'm going to be honest with you. A million, I'll probably give away like a Chanel bag or something at 2 million. I'll probably give away the S550. Let's see how fast we can grow this. But it's not just the numbers. It's also the sponsorships. Like, you know, like, am I making money off the ads? Am I getting sponsorships? Am I getting collabs? You know, like, you know, um, 
am I getting things that are worth it that then allow me to do that? And then I have to talk to a Mercedes dealership to see if they'll work with me on that because it could be a tax write-off to them if they donate it to the channel as like a goodwill thing. So maybe I can get, you know, a Mercedes dealership or a Mercedes to work with me on that. If anybody works for Mercedes and can get that done, let's do it. Let's do it. I don't know if you guys have ever seen her. Let's see if I can find one of her videos. I'll put it in the link below. She's like this woman and she's like, today we're going to put together an outfit. And then she does a lot of like cuts and clips. And then she goes, she's like, I'm going to try to wear something that's just pink and black. Let's do it. She's so freaking cute. I love her. Like and her, some of her outfits are like, well, you know, like, eh. but her personality, how happy she is, how creative she is. It's just really interesting to, to watch her. So I would like to be friends with her. She's really interesting. Um, I'll put her link below, but that's all I got for you guys until next time. Bye.